At the end of last month, the Energy Regulatory Commission announced the scrapping off of the fixed cost of 150 shillings per customer, a move that was aimed at reducing the cost of power for Kenyans. And while 3.3 million low consumers that use up to 10 units every month are reaping from the reduction, it is not so for another 2.8 million customers that use between 11 and 684 units monthly. A 10-unit customer pays 176 shillings monthly, this comprising a direct energy cost of 120 shillings, with the remainder 56 shillings catering for government deductions. Total adjustments account for 26 shillings that increase with the increase in number of units consumed monthly. And as you pay for the adjustments, you are paying for a rural electrification program that attracts 5% of the cost of the units of power you consume. You are also paying for an Energy Regulatory Commission levy of 3 cents per unit and a further 3 cents per unit for Water Resources Authority levy. For consumers of 100 units monthly, starting this August, they are paying 381 shillings more compared to last month. A total of 2,219 shillings is their bill, comprising 1,580 shillings as energy charge, 260 shillings in total adjustments, while levies account for 85 shillings. Value-added tax accounts for 294 shillings. Customers that use 500 units have a bill of 11,095 shillings. Of this, 7,900 shillings is the actual energy cost, while a total of 3,195 shillings goes to finance taxes, levies and other deductions. But heavy domestic electricity consumers are ripping from ERC's price harmonization. For instance, a 2,000 units consumer is paying 5,000 shillings less. Of the 44,380 shilling bill, 31,600 is the actual energy cost. Total adjustments add up to 5,200 shillings, 1,692 shillings for levies, while the value added tax is 5,888 shillings. You know, the cost of the tariff is based on the revenue requirement, which, we, we, which I will be clarifying to what the chairman has asked. It's not to recover that debt. The taxes, levies and adjustments charged on electricity bills go to finance various government projects and programs, just like the charges on fuel, that are likely to go up with the implementation of a VAT charge on petroleum products. And since part of power generation is diesel-driven, it is likely to also impact on the power tariffs. Sam Kitoko, TV, Nairobi.